something as a pagan priest I'm quite aware of that hate crimes in families happen every single day. Hatred is something that is brewing across America. Hatred is when someone steps out of their proper rights into someone else's boundaries and impacts them, impacts them negatively. Hatred starts to take hold when people are always late. Hatred begins when people think that they are super and great and above other people in their biological family. Hatred occurs when parents abuse their children's rights in front of God. Hatred becomes prevalent when a black father abandons his children that he is fathered. Hatred begins in families when a white woman doesn't take the time to parent her children correctly. Hatred begins when people do not take their responsibility for parenting. This is why hatred begins. There is no other explanation to my mind than this. The way a child goes is based on how they are loved, how they are tended, how they are trained. So if you've got a shitbag little boy in a community running around on every other color of a bicycle every other day, then you are the failure in your family. You failed to take your procreation seriously. You failed to pick up a book to read how to be a better father or a better mother, how to stay married, how to be divorced in appropriate ways, and you failed yourself in every way. You chose somebody based on how they looked hot on your arm and how they made you feel in intimate moments of time that were fun. But you didn't think about how God thought about what you chose and you didn't think about how it would go over the course of time. And many people lose when they do that, you know. It's pretty much common sense. You see, in my situation, I had a family member of choice for 20 plus years across two continents and I don't have to explain when and where and why we became intimate in relations. I don't have to explain to anyone in my family of origin how that occurred, what it was like, <clears throat> when it happened, or anything at any time. But there are immoral family members of a family of origin <clears throat> that want to interfere with love relations of other people. There are immoral women who haven't matured enough in their situations. It's not true. There are women who realize they made mistakes in their marriage bed and they start looking to other men for the filling of the gaps in which their intended partner that they say they so love is failing to provide. Now please Forgive any facetiousness that you hear in the tone of my voice or the paralinguistics that you might interpret in your version of your concept of listening to me today or on any given day or any video that I have. But I am a man who is vehemently angry almost every day at the abuse that I experience from both family members and society members today. Abuse takes many forms. An abuse of any kind, whether it is psychological in gaslighting that police officers love to do to people they just don't like because they gossip like a little girl and give away information that might be false or true and openly they do this for their free time, not at all. They do it while they're on the job, most of all. They create hate in America by spewing lies and getting their family and friends to participate in abuse. Other abuses are emotional. My mother was an emotional abuser, always pushing buttons, always insulting, even in her late years because her other children enabled her to think that way, feel that way, and do those things after my father was transitioning to heaven. My late father was a physical abuser, and he did a lot of pounding of children who were, in his mind, out of line, or in his need 
to get rid of steam. And I feel grief for those kids who got it worse than me. But if I told you that, then you try to do your psychology on what came about for me as opposed to recognizing that God put a soul in me that is mine. There are physical abusers even in our community that are total strangers. I have received physical abuse from total strangers in the cutting of my beard and the cutting of my private parts and the abuse of my personal body based on chemistry or audios that they play and they commandeer you. They think, hey, he's homeless, he'll never know. That's the lie that the foreign bastards and infidels who come here like to play at our people. God help the women in America today. As a man, I'm beyond defended. But here's the deal. The cutting of a man's beard is of other abuses too. It is a sexual assault under the law because beards are secondary sex characteristics that do not belong to you if they're not on your fucking face. And most women are stupid about how men feel about their beards. Some wives learned the hard way when they thought they'd trim their husband's beard while they were sleeping, and they got a pounding like nobody's business. And no offense, but they deserved that. Because how would they feel if their husband cut their hair off or manipulated their face with toxins or with bad creams or things that caused allergies so that a face is now not the same so that people don't even recognize their wife what a lie that those men told themselves they wanted to play botched type of plastic surgeons when they're not those people are demoralizers of women they are abusers of women they are horrible in bed and they destroy women. There are other forms of abuse that are caused when someone's beard grown for faith is cut off. It's called a religious hate crime. If it's done by someone who is not of the same culture or ethnicity, then it becomes a hate crime of racism. Because, no offense, dear, but despite the fact that we are in the 2021st year, we have people who don't recognize that ethnocentricity and reverse racism is still present here in some sort of retaliation against the racism that once existed here. It's an entitlement thinking that I have rights to make you my little play toy, my little fuck toy, my little stupid boy. And you have lied to yourself underneath American culture. You have lied to yourself under socially appropriate behavior and you have lied to yourself about your rights here you are no slave master here but you have enslaved yourself to your grotesque ideology about what you have the right to do here in america you have completely caused yourself to commit treason underneath every aspect of the law here you have violated internationally accepted human rights laws because those trump every federal law out there and at no time is anyone's private parts your business if it's not given to you in permission and without witness 